So, hello guys. Today in this video, we are going to prove the non-existence of electron inside the nucleus. You know, if you consider an atom, it consists of the nucleus. This is nucleus, and electrons are arranged in different cells like this. So these are electrons you already know. Okay, and so on. I'm not showing all of them. I'm just showing few of them. So how can you prove that these electrons does not reside inside the nucleus? So we can utilize a very famous principle called uncertainty principle to prove this. So let us consider this nucleus. So we are considering that this is the nucleus, the spherical we are considering for the time being. So if we consider the radius r naught, the total diameter will be two times of r naught. Now we can utilize the position momentum uncertainty relation to prove that electrons cannot reside inside the nucleus. How we can do that? This is let's say the uncertainty in position. So we know delta x, delta p x is approximately. We can take it h cut. Which greater equals to h cut by two. So we are taking the nearest integer h cut. So in place of delta x, what we gonna put? We gonna put 2r not, and delta p x is equals to let's say let's uh, for the time being it is right. Uh, let's write delta p. So this is equals to h cut. From here we are getting the value of delta p h cut upon twice r not. Okay. Now we know the value of h cut. It is 1.055 into 10 to the power minus 34 in standard units. Two times. R not. R not is the radius of this uh, atom, or what you can say, nucleus. What is that? That is uh, of the order of 10 to the power minus 14. So, if you calculate, uh, you will get a value like approximately 5.28 into 10 to the power minus 21, and its momentum. So, its unit is kg meter per second. So, this is the amount of momentum we are getting. Now, from this, we can get the idea about the energy. So, I am just omitting this for the time being. So, if P is this, then what will be the energy, kinetic energy? Let's say T. T, you know, is P square by 2m. Okay, square of this. So, if you put the value of P square and 2 into m mass of the electron, then what you are going to get? You are going to get around 95. 0.7 mega electron volt. Okay, but this is the kinetic energy you expect if you consider this model. Now, for the beta decay, beta decay is what? Minus one is zero. This is also already an electron. So, the order of uh, order of energy of this beta decay means the electrons. Is of few MeV only. Okay, few MeV only. But to reside inside the nucleus, the electron energy must be ninety-five point seven MeV. So from this, we can conclude that electron cannot exist inside the nucleus. So in this way, from un using uncertainty principle, we can prove that electron cannot lie inside the nucleus. So this is all for this video, guys. I hope you have understood the basic reason of the non-residing electron inside the nucleus. And if you have any query, doubt regarding this, you can let me know in the comment section. And see you guys in the next video. An Academy is India's largest online teaching learning platform. You can prepare for various competitive exams like CSR, NET, GATE, JEST, IIT, JAM, TFR. Especially if you are preparing for CSR NET Physical Science, you can join me on an academy plus. I cover all the nine units of CSR NET Physical Science syllabus. My approach is especially I precisely give you the concept of the concerned topic, then I discuss the relevant mathematical formula and do the analysis. Relevant problem based on the topic, including previous year questions, are discussed. Homework and assignments are also given. This is my profile, and if you want to join my an academy plus courses, you can enroll for this course. And if you are new to this an academy uh, platform, you can take an academy plus subscription using our referral code Felix R. And an academy will give you 10% off. So take the an academy plus subscription today and put your feet one step ahead towards reaching your goal. Thank you.